I just wanted to show you very quickly getting multiple characters into a single scene when they have been rigged using Rigit. As a couple of folks have been a little stumped here and there on this, it's very quick and very simple, so I shall show you. We have one character, of course, already loaded. We go to load from scene, and we find our scene with the second character that we want to load. We have, of course, at this point, gone through and done the renaming part of the finalizing process that's covered in the documentation, of course, as we're not going to get any double name parts importing in that would of course make problems for us. So we open that and up comes the load from scene dialog. Now normally you might expect it's good to just hit OK but I just want to draw your attention to something. If you hit expand and then select all and we do that because if we look right down at the bottom of the list here we can see that there's a scene entry and you're going to have proxy pick and master channel entries under here. Those have to be imported as well. You can, of course, uncheck the camera and the lights, and sometimes you might have reference to scene editor under the master plugins or scene editor standard banks. Normally, uncheck that as well. But otherwise, as long as you've got all of the objects selected and all of the master plugins selected, you then just hit OK, and bingo, your second character appears. Let's shove the first one out the way there, so as we can see our second character, and, well, there he is. Now, sometimes you may get a small bug in Lightwave that causes the deformation of one character to not seem to be working properly. That's no biggie at all. All you have to do is just reassign the deforms, because sometimes on the import they get a bit mixed up. So you would select your character, in this case I've picked the Han Solo, and you would switch to Bones mode. Now there's no Bones existing under this mesh, so nothing appears, but that's fine. And you hit Properties, and you simply check that Use Bones from Object is set to the correct Deform Rig Null, in this case Deform Rig Han Solo. Do that for both your characters, and that'll clean up any mistakes that might have occurred during import with the actual assigning of the deformers. And that's all there is to it. Just one small extra note for Macintosh users. There is a little bug in Lightwave Mac that sometimes causes the sliders to go, go blank here. They will still work, no problem, but the text vanishes. This isn't anything to do with me, I promise, and so there's nothing I can do to fix it. As for how you would go about fixing it, I'm not really sure, but I, I would recommend just open up the properties for the slider panel, go into the slider interface, check through the channels as they appear, perhaps rename them if you want, or click them, double click them to try and force Lightwave to bring this text back. And that's all there is to it, to getting two characters into the same scene working properly together.